Hi, welcome back to Art by Dish. Today I'm going to be making one of these beautiful teak wood paper towel holders. So I figured why not take the opportunity to show you guys how to cut a square into a circle with just a cable saw. The first step in this process is to find out exactly where the center of our board is. So for this you're going to need some sort of straight edge and a pencil. From there we're just going to draw a line from corner to corner on each side and make an X and that'll show us exactly where the middle is on our board. Now we've got our X and it shows our center point here. The next thing we need to do is drill a small hole here, right in the middle of this. The size drill bit you're going to need for this part depends on what you're going to use to hold your board in place as you spin it and cut on the circular saw. I'm using one of these wire nails, so I picked out a drill bit that is just about the same size, if not slightly larger, so that we don't split our wood or make any weird marks on it. Now this hole is going to be our pivot point. So we want it as straight up and down as possible because if we have it lean to one side or the other as we spin it, it's going to move the board a tiny bit. And what that's going to do is give us an oblong circle instead of a perfect circle. Uh, if you have a drill press, I suggest using a drill press for this part. That way there you know that the hole will be perfectly straight up and down. But for today's video purposes, I'm showing you how to do it with just your drill and a table saw and sled. So let's go ahead and do this one. I'm going to find our center point, make sure we're straight up and down. So now that we've got our hole drilled, we make sure it went all the way through. Make sure our nail fits in there nice. The next step is to take your table saw sled and slide it on your table into place. If you don't have one of these, they're super easy to make. There's a lot of videos on YouTube. I will be making one eventually. Um, but for now, you can just Google table saw sled and you can find them on YouTube and they're super easy to make. Now when you're putting your sled on your table saw, you want to make sure that the blade is about halfway through the sled. That way there you have the most amount of room that you can spin your board to create your circle. So the first thing we're going to do is take our board, we're going to place it right up against the side of the saw. You don't want to push too hard here, just make sure it's snug. Now we're going to take our wire nail, we're going to stick it in that hole, and we're going to pound it in. Now we can pull our sled back and you can see that our board just turns. It stays in a central location which means that we should get a perfect circle out of this board. All we have left to do now is cut our board into a circle. Safety first though, especially with doing this method because as you turn your board and cut your corners off getting closer to a circle some of these pieces will try to shoot out of there um, it's a very big possibility so make sure you wear your safety glasses to cover your eyes um, from there it's as simple as pull your sled back where you've got room turn your board to the first corner turn it on and just start cutting the corners off Now one thing that I did fail to mention is when you're doing this, you want to make sure you hold your board still. You don't want to just put it up to the corners and push it without holding your board because then you're going to cause a kink and you're going to break your saw, your blade, or you're going to get hurt. So always make sure that you securely hold your piece of wood. And then just go ahead and now that we have all the main corners cut off, we're going to cut off the next set. Now that we have most of the corners cut off, you can see we have a pretty round board here. Next step is you want to get rid of all of these little pieces. Throw them in your little scrap bucket. And we'll get ready for the next part. Now the last part of this process requires us to keep the sled still and actually spin our board on its little axis. So what we're going to do is we're going to push our sled back until it just barely makes contact with those front teeth there and we're going to stop there. 
We're going to leave our sled here. We're going to hold our board still, turn on the saw. Now that we've gone all the way around until the wood doesn't cut anymore, you can see that our bottom lip here is a lot more round than the top. See how it goes in a little bit here? This because it's taking off all of these corners. So what we got to do is just move our sled forward a little bit more and repeat the same process. As you can see from this angle, we've got about two thirds of our board is perfectly round. We only got about a third of it left to go. So what we're gonna do is push our sled forward a little bit more and we're gonna continue the process again. And you should notice on the video this time, as I push it forward and we start turning, you will see all of these little points start to disappear. And now you can see what we're left with is a nice, perfect circle. Um, you may have to play around moving your sled forward and backwards to get out the last tiny, tiny little pieces of angles. But the more you do with these, the faster you'll get, the better you'll be at it. And then finally, our last step is to just go ahead and pull off our circle. If you used a short nail, this should be pretty easy. Um, you'll find the more you do this, you will find a certain nail that you like to use for this because it makes it super easy to pull off and remove. Now the last part is simply push your nail out, pull it out, and we have our circle. If you enjoyed this video and this quick tip, please subscribe to my channel, press the like button, and um, that way there you'll be sure to get all the notifications when I do post new tricks, tips, and woodworking videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day.